Welcome to the continuation of the overview of the Tower of David. I'm Bob O'Dell, and I'm going to try to do a bit of voiceover for some of the photographs that I took here of the uh, exhibits. Here we have Elot, who is the curator, and we're going to go down into uh, the exhibits and look at some of the things I photographed. This particular item is a topographic model of the city of Jerusalem. It actually has a guide down here so you can identify some of the items, but I'm going to help you by coming around and we're going to look at this from the south, this uh, model here. You notice uh, the main features are, are these um, uh, creek beds and the hill here is very unusual. Well, this is Mount Moriah here, starting from the very south on up to the north. This would be where the Temple Mount would be, and on up to Golgotha up here. Um, if you look, though, the main features are the creek beds. You've got the Hinnom Valley over here on the west. This is the ancient trash dump of Jerusalem. Uh, then the Tyropean Valley, if that's how you say it here. Um, and uh, on here we have the western, the western hill and the eastern hill on either side of this valley. This would be Mount Zion. And again, Mount Moriah. And over here we have the Kidron Valley. Kidron Valley, uh, the Garden of Gethsemane would be just over here, and uh, the hill on our right is the Mount of Olives. So that's the, the main overview. I wanted to point out something about this, uh, though it's been pointed out by others, and that is that the shape of the valleys in Jerusalem looks something like the letter Shin. And let's go back and look at the valley. So we've got one main here, and we have two valleys uh, that emanate from this point. You see they're all connected together. All three of these valleys end up draining into the same wadi. And it looks like the Shin. Well, actually, it looks like the Shin if you were to go down to the center of the earth and look back. The Shin character actually has the... the uh, two closer valleys here on the left, but in the actual picture, they're on the right. So the Tyrophian Valley and the Kidron Valley here and Hinnom together look like the letter Shin. Inside the exhibit, I took a few photographs. Here's the area around Israel. Um, the, um, the pink here supposed to be the borders of Israel proper during the time of David and Solomon. Um, they had conquered Edom, Moab, Ammon here on the, excuse me, on the west uh, side of the uh, Jordan River. I guess if you, if you notice here, here's the Mediterranean Sea. This is the Jordan River Valley here down to the Dead Sea. And then we have more of the desert to the east. So we have Aram, um, uh, Phoenicia up top here, Philistia, which is down near where Gaza is today. So, a pretty interesting diagram. Then the division of the land by tribes you can see here. Of course, there's many maps that uh, that show this. Um, it does show some of their symbols, and that's kind of interesting. So I'll move in here just a moment. And uh, Jerusalem being here um, in this white area. Now this uh, diagram is to show us uh, time is moving bottom to top here and it's showing that the first temple period was roughly between uh, 1006 BC and 586 BC. So let's go in. This is a uh, rendering of what the city of David uh, would have looked like. Um, and um, let's go back real quickly here to the diagram. The city of David would start here at the southern end of Mount Moriah, and it goes up a part of the way. 
the temple mount is on another platform here. So we're talking about this area of Jerusalem. So let's go back. And so there is a, a view of that. And we'll see several different drawings. So the Kidron Valley here would be here and the Tarophian Valley here. That's all there was at the beginning. That's another view of it with some of the landscape in the distance. And here's another view of it. Um, this is showing how the city of David maps against the old city as we see it today. So anyway, the city of David is still, everything we were just seeing is actually below the old city. The old city walls would have been up here. I mean, if we were, if we were looking at this today, the old city walls that we can see today are north of the old city of David. Okay, um, after the period uh, of Solomon, the kingdom was divided into a southern kingdom and northern kingdom. Here's the rough divisions here. Then we have Jerusalem here at the northern portion of Judah and uh, Israel extending north from that, the northern kingdom of Israel, the ten tribes, if you will. Israel overshadowed Judah um, and Jerusalem declined economically. Yeah. Um, the land was very good up in Israel, and they had a lot of economic uh, progress. Eventually, though, the, the northern kingdom was uh, taken in uh, 722 BC. Now, this is another view of the city of David, and it's interesting. Here's the city of David in yellow, and here is the city when Solomon was king, and you see it extends to the north in order to capture the temple so that the, the temple is protected. Um, the city didn't extend out to the west until the time of Hezekiah. So these are Hezekiah's walls out in the west. This hill over here is Mount Zion. Uh, the uh, western wall, uh, the, the Kotel, the Wailing Wall, would be right here in this, uh, down at the bottom of this valley, um, looking up to the Temple Mount. The Tower of David, where we've been seeing the photographs in this series, is right about where the cursor is now. Uh, Mount of Olives over here. So, um, yeah, this is the same chart talking about how Hezekiah um, extended the walls of the city, anticipating an Assyrian assault. He brought water into the city, reinforced the city's ramparts, and built an additional wall to enclose the western hill over here. So with the western hill, which is Mount Zion, the eastern hill, which is the city of David. Those were their original names. This is a very interesting diagram. This is the city of David again, but this is showing the tunnel that Hezekiah built in order to uh, protect the water supply of the city. And there is a little bit more detail here. Since the foundation of Jerusalem, the Gihon Spring at the foot of its eastern hill had been the city's main water source. During the United Monarchy, a shaft of the spring was dug from within the walls. As the Assyrian army approached in 701 BC, King Hezekiah decided to ensure a constant supply of water into the city to withstand the siege. He blocked the, the external entrance to the Gihon Spring and hewed a tunnel in the rock under the city uh, inside the new city walls uh, he built and the water flowed through the tunnel to the pool of Siloam. So now we're going to look at that in a little bit more detail. So here's the Gihon Spring and the tunnel, the blue here indicates the tunnel that he built um, coming out at the Gihon Spring. In another series that is going to be coming up in a few weeks, we're going to look at the city of David and I will be taking you into this tunnel with some uh, video that I took. Uh, it was 
it was a very unusual experience in this Hezekiah's tunnel. Okay, so this, this whole thing is the city of David. This is the lower part with the Gihon Spring. This is the Pool of Siloam um, where the, um, uh, the blind man was healed by Jesus. Okay, now we're moving to the um, next period from 586 to 515. This is the uh, exile. And uh, when the Jews were exiled, they were exiled to Babylon. This pink area was showing where between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers that they resided primarily. And it shows the return paths of uh, Zerubbabel um, in the uh, purple path and uh, Ezra and Nehemiah taking a bit of a shortcut. Um, on the uh, on the brown path. This is a, a nice model of the uh, platform uh, in the time of Herod. So we have now moved forward all the way to around zero BC, uh, looking at this beautiful, all of these enhancements that Herod the Great made to the platform. You can see right back there is the top of the temple. But this is, this is what I believe it's called the portico. And there is a name for this stairway and entrance. Uh, I cannot remember it. Here's a, another view of this. This is that same entrance that we were just looking at from the previous picture. Um, here we have the uh, model of um, uh, Herod's palace. This is the David, the David citadel, um, the platform of King Herod, uh, the uh, temple. Notice that the elites had a nice pathway to get to the temple. They had, didn't have to go down into the, um, the depths of the city. They were able to, uh, to move right along in this uh, raised walkway. Elad had pointed out that the rich uh, people lived higher up on the western hill and then if you go down into towards the Tyropian Valley that down here we have the regular people. And here is our last slide. This is this uh, photograph is showing the outline of the old city today versus the outline of the old city in the time of Herod the Great. This is an old look at three Herodian towers um, that are found, uh, can be found today in the Citadel Courtyard. Well, I hope you enjoyed this overview and we will be continuing this series and go back to expert narration from one of the guides who's going to take us into the area where we're going to be able to see Hezekiah's wall over here on the western part of the city. So we'll take that up next time.